Okay, folks, so I'm going to um, create a brand new project to uh, and start to develop a, a, a Project Libre uh, document file um, project um, schedule. And I'm going to use Courtney's, um, Courtney's um, uh, first uh, three milestones as an example. So first I'll uh, create project because it's a new project. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, I want to for you to see actually st uh, start data leave that's fine there. I want to see what happens in terms of some of the time control elements that get kind of weird or screwy with project management software. So just call it test and I'll go to um, task. Here we are. So the first thing, so I've gotten this little f sticky floating. I've got the first, first three milestones. What I'm going to do is put in um, these first three milestones, and I'll just cut and paste from here. I'm not going to grab the time. OK, establish test domain. OK, I'm going to choose WordPress theme. Put it right there, home page. Okay, and we have three milestones there. Now I'm going to add the task in order to uh, complete that milestone. So in order to get a row under row one here, I'm going to click into uh, row two and say insert. And I see there's three tasks, I'll, and I'll just three there. Okay, so the first one is uh, the first one. He doesn't have a time on it. I'll put it anyways. And okay. It's a little tedious, uh, but really it, it really makes scheduling out a lot easier not to see things and you can adjust things and see how they develop as you change your time frames. You can see things move up, move down, move out without you know, it's kind of like a spreadsheet but with a Gantt chart component that sort of is tailored around time control. Okay, so now I've got those three things. So how do I make those three tasks that belong to established test domain? So I'm going to shift click them all and I indent. And now notice what happened. It changed this, um, the established test domain becomes a milestone with a bar that will span whatever time frame, time length, the three things that belong to it. What also happened is that the duration for um, established test domain milestone will be determined by the total of the duration for the three tasks that belong to underneath. And we call that rolling up. When the time rolls up, goes up to its parent um, item. Okay, so choose WordPress theme has three tasks as well. So I'll go here, insert, insert, insert to make room for them. I mean, you could do this going down, sequentially down. I'm doing it by inserting as after I put my milestones in. So I'm just going to quickly put these in. Research. Next one is choose theme. Install theme. And finally, home page. So, okay, let me get back here. So, it's shift click these three, indent. Now, they all those three items belong to choose WordPress theme. Let me open this up a little bit. Finally, home page has actually six items. And since there's nothing below it, we can just go right down. So, add home page. And if I hit return, it goes down to the next row automatically. Import. Logo. Great. And I'm going to abbreviate a little bit just for sake of time. Add home text. Add home images. Oops, spell that right, huh? Remember, if I double click on an item, it brings up its detail 
which is another place you can put things in. Uh, what do we got? Add images. Um, save and preview. Okay, so we got all these belong to home page. So they're underneath. Indent. Boom. There we have it. Okay, so now we have all our these three milestones and these items that belong to them. Um, now, so I'm going to, for the sake of doing this, take his worst case estimate, which is not a bad idea because then you can see, you know, the worst case, how far the schedule goes. So in duration here, I'm just going to put um, course so here I'm double clicking is trying to put something in why can I put it in because it's a milestone that owns these three items below it so it's it wants it's going to total what these are so here I'm going to put um, I'm just going to put uh, two hours just to in case something goes wrong there okay I can do that there it's and it's an eight hour day, so it assumes it's a 0.25 days. Now, where is this eight hour day coming from? Let me put a couple of these in. So, this one, two hours. I could also put in a fraction. And this one, you said it's going to be four hours, which if it's an eight hour day, I'll say 0.5 and 0.5 day. Now, so rolled these three up. So the duration of established test domain is half a day. Um, to see what this is in hours, actually, I can put this aside over here now. If I go to um, resource, if I go to view, excuse me, and go to, I believe it's task usage. Yes. It actually puts the duration in hours here. And in this view, I can actually change things as well. I can put three hours here, it makes it 0.375 days. I can change this back to 0.25 days. It converts that back to two hours. Now, once again, it assumes if, if if a quarter day is two hours, it's assuming eight hour day. Where are we getting that from? Well, if I go to um, calendar under resource and I look at options, hours per day, eight. What this is saying, this is the amount of hours per day that are available to the project. Let's say I made this four. I'll leave out hours per week and days per month for now. Okay, let's watch what happens. So now, two hours is now half a day because we're saying we have four hours available to the day. Four hours is one day. So, I mean, if you can, so this shows you the amount of time that you're going to spend. This shows you duration on a calendar, what it would take. So, if you knew you were going to spend exactly two hours, one hour, six hours per day on a project, this works out pretty well. Uh, that's the time available. The problem is that's not the reality in terms of working on these. So what I suggest is you just stick with the eight hour day and just change the duration of uh, work and duration knowing that it's an eight hour day and let things fly out that way. Um, I wish there's a way of per item saying like, well, I'm planning to spend this many hours per day on it. Uh, it's not the way these programs work, unfortunately. They're assuming teams, they're assuming regular work schedules, and so we make the best of it in terms of um, using when the constraints of these programs. So let me go back and change the calendar. And you can play with this yourself and try different combinations. I'm going to make it eight hours per day. <laughs> 